watching lots of uh, videos of Mr. Alberto Valdez. Okay, so before we go ahead, welcome back. Um, this is uh, JDP. So recently I've started watching the the history and the roots of um, uh, the rumba. Uh, the, uh, the, you know, when, when people dance salsa, they sometimes do shines. Uh, salsa shines and so they call uh, some people call it rumba and cuban shines or something like that so it's basically this this movements that they do uh, that look a bit african when when they dance salsa so i think it's it's um, based on what i've seen so far it's it's a, it's, a, it's a cuban thing this rumba it was like it 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 it, it uh, started from Cuba um, when when the the flamenco music mixed with the African uh, rhythms and then yeah that that's uh, that's how it pretty much um, started and this man is I think is one of the one of the masters of that rumba style i've seen many videos of the this guy the musicality and 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 the the style and uh, the the precision to which he dances is amazing i didn't know about the alberto valdez until like two months back two three months back when i first watched uh, i believe this video this was the first video i watched of him I immediately oh what, <laughs> what is this and then i started watching the the history of rumba and everything so if i'm not wrong rumba has three different um, sub categories one is the guaguanco uh, where the 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 man kind of uh, tries to vaccinate the woman the other one is uh, Yembu, Yembu or something. Third one is the Colombia. The Colombia, I believe, is the one that uh, you 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 mostly find in the Cuba, uh, in the salsa classes, the salsa shines, salsa suelta. Uh, 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 I, I think yeah, that, that, that's what it is. I and I'm ho and I hope I'm not wrong. And Alberto Valdez is one of uh, I I believe is is one of the masters of this uh, the whole rumba thing in general, I guess. But his Colombia, I'm particularly really fond of. Let's see what I I think this is some kind of like a coaching class that he is doing somewhere in Cuba and uh, yeah it's it's uh, fun to watch
music is so nice. She, you actually feel like you wanna wanna dance to the to this music. It's basically uh, drums. I, I I guess it's 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 a very African uh, music. style So this is like the, uh, is doing the routine from the beginning, I guess. certain style to this 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 whole choreography it's a very sexy dance This, this looks uh, pretty much like uh, flamenco. I think this whole Colombia, the rumba thing, is it's like a beautiful fusion of uh, flamenco and uh, African rhythms. It's a, it's an amazing uh, dance, and, the, and it reflects in this move, like what he is doing.
doing seriously go back go back <laughs> uh, the i think the secret is to not bend to 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 have uh, uh um yeah <laughs> Colombia. And so the, I think in this video, there's another video. I think it, it is uh, Guaguanco because I've seen this video. He kind of like tries to vaccinate the the ladies there. <laughs> Just, just, just makes you want to dance, right? Oh! See, the music is moving him, like as opposed to him moving to the music. The music, you can, you can see that here.
Oh, it's mesmerizing to watch. <laughs> Not once he goes out of beat. It looks some looks like some some kind of like a, an African dance ritual or something of that sort. Hey. Yes. Now it's complete. Now it's <laughs> there's something missing. Now it's complete. I believe this is when he tries. Uh, this is Guaguanco, I guess. This this when he tries to assassinate the lady. It's mostly uh, some fundamental moves and uh, like 10% uh, basics and then 90% with, with just uh, uh, playing playing with the, the music and uh, experimenting with musicality, expressing expressing oneself, I guess. It's beautiful. <laughs> See, that's, I think, I'm not sure how this works. Uh, I, I watched a video some time back uh, about the history of Roomba. So it's, it's kind of like a competition between the, the man and the woman. And uh, I think now he scored one point or something. I don't, I'm not completely sure. I'll have to do more research on that, how this whole Guaguanca thing uh, works. <laughs> <laughs> Two points, I guess. <laughs> And 
I believe you can also vaccinate by pointing finger at at uh, the the ladies. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Great dancer. Uh, I I believe he's is 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 a huge um, um, uh, artist in um, in the in the rumba and the salsa community. Uh, and in, it, it's my ignorance that I have not heard of him because I'm not into salsa that much. But I would definitely love to learn from Mr. Alberto Valdez if uh, he comes to Sydney. Yeah, that'll be great. Rumba is an amazing... Rumba is, Rumba is one of those things that I really like about the salsa. Uh, but even when I learned like basic uh, salsa from uh, Rocky Punaola sir in Pune, I I really like the music and I I, I, I and I like the the salsa shines the suelta uh, better than the actual salsa because and even even in the the dance congresses I used to like uh, experiment on my own salsa shines uh, salsa suelta or whatever I don't know if you can even can call it salsa I I just like dancing alone uh, more than dancing uh, with a partner if that is possible you uh, beat any dance because that gives you more freedom and more uh, yeah it, it you can you can just express yourself uh, as opposed to uh, worrying too much about uh, leading and because leading is not an easy thing leading is is a bit yeah, you need, uh, yeah, you need, you, you need uh, some practice, and you need to follow certain protocol in order to be able to lead, right? But when it comes to salsa shines and suelta, it's you don't ha you don't have that restriction. So yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for watching this. Bye bye.